And Jane Slater works for the NFL Network, uh, posted on Twitter, an unpaid internship. She's taking a lot of heat because people responded to it like, oh, my gosh, how could there even still be a a thing as unpaid internships? You have to get paid. We're not going to do work for free. And they're coming at her, and she responded to it and all this. She's responded to multiple trolls, as I like to call them, in her mentions and things like that, too. People started to come at her as well because they dug deep on her, as people do, and saw that she received some help going to school from her grandfather. Mm -hmm. Her grandfather helped her out financially in college. But rarely are unpaid internships actually unpaid if you think about it there's always some value to it whether it means you're going to get your meals comped or you're going to have a place to stay or there's always going to be some sort of benefit you may not be getting a straight paycheck like you would like but that's the thing you have to make money i get it but if it's a real opportunity to get your foot in the door in a field that's extremely competitive you have to take that and that's the thing so, and, and to me, so what if she had help? People are coming at her like, you, and, and this is what I heard. I saw on Twitter. Privilege, 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 blah, 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 blah. You were privileged. You had help. Your grandfather helped you get through college, and some of us didn't. Ha- Does that automatically mean that she didn't grind to get where she is? Am I supposed to believe that she was just handed everything? Because I don't. So many kids coming out of college right now are so entitled it makes me sick it really does because that's the word they are insanely entitled and they're brought up to be that way it's not how it used to be 24 years old okay i think this is a great example why am i sitting here as a host of a sports talk show at 24 years old because i grind and i did i still do it every single day and i did it to get to this point same with college did a lot of jobs before this throughout school that paid very little in sports media because guess what sports media until you make it in the higher ranks pays very little it just does and that's the case for a lot of fields these kids i know i'm up on my soapbox here but a lot of them come out of school and automatically expect to land a job that pays a ton of money it is hard work, plain and simple. P- these, they don't realize that coming out of school, you are worth very little because you don't have that much experience. It's just how it is. You have to work your way into it. Very rarely do you come out of college with any type of degree and are immediately considered for a high position that pays a lot of money because you don't have that experience. And that's all she was trying to say. She was trying to say, would take this as an opportunity, because that's what it is. For any kid out there that wants to get into sports media or anything else, if you are given an opportunity for anywhere, and they say it's an unpaid internship, but if you do the right thing while you're there and you know how to market, you talk about getting your foot in the door and accepting it as a blessing and an opportunity, which nobody ever does anymore. It's always, I have to get paid right now, and if it doesn't meet my standards, I'm not going to do it. And guess what? If that is the mindset, you're never going to make it, especially in this type of field, which like what she was saying, it's hard work. Don't be allergic to it. It's hard work. You have to be able to do that, and if you want to get anywhere in life, ever, it, ha- it takes a lot of sacrifice, and it takes a lot of doing what you don't want to do. Plain and simple, cold, hard truth. I get it. Unpaid sucks. Work on the side. Guess what? It's hard work. Doing multiple jobs is not easy. Do it and see where you are in a few years if you keep it up and stay consistent about it. Don't go on a Twitter and complain about everything when someone's posting an opportunity because that's what it is. And everybody, especially when they get on social media, shows their true colors that they are entitled, plain and simple. Hard work's not a bad thing, Zach.